It's Bronze Bird here with another video. Before I begin, like and subscribe. Thank you. So apparently you're watching this PC culture, snowflakes, and you know, all these different things that's going on out here. It's just <laughs> random whole entire thing when a man speaks against specifically the LGBTQ community, um, you know, it is going to become a lot of like pushback and this whole entire thing, like you don't understand us and you need to work hard and uh, increase your energy and get the negativity out of your system. All these like gaslighting techniques that they use in order to, you know, defile someone and make it seem like someone is being disrespectful to them and this, that, and the third. And this is my thing. Dave Chappelle, since this is going to be a video even just remotely related to him, never said anything that went below the belt against the LGBTQ community. What he made was an analyzation about the fact of the matter that when it came to the rapper, the baby, that more or less like it was a comparison, really, that if he could just continuously rap about the stuff that he was rapping about, there would be no pushback, right? But specifically, when, you know, when it came to him saying something that might have seemed, quote unquote, homophobic, now all of a sudden, he's thrown to the wolves and he's a disrespectful person and he should be banned from these different places and take retraining classes and all these different things to understand what's going on in society. I mean, <laughs> when you're dealing with the mafia, such as the LGBTQ, because I think the LGBTQ community in very much a lot of instances is a part, is, is a mafia. A culture, culture mafias. You can't speak ill will or say anything against them because your ass will get shunned. You will be fired from your job. You would be fired from these different professions. I mean, honestly, you say anything is bad. I mean, obviously, you know, on this on this website, YouTube, that you can't say certain things on here about certain parties in this, that, and third, because you'll be shunned for it also. Now, this is not really a controversial video. I, I think that I just wanted to do this just because I, I just find it funny and I do believe in, in karma. What you say can be used against you. You see how uh, Dave Chappelle is being, you know, thrown out to the wolves and you got these like snowflakes leaving Netflix because Netflix decided to say, we're not gonna cancel the Dave Chappelle special and this, that, and the third. I wasn't gonna even do a video on it, but I just, when I, I laughed a little bit when I saw this clip because this explains a lot, okay? That the, the, the activists, which is a trans woman had said some very racist stuff and also has said some certain things that just make it seem as if they are homophobic and what i've gathered around a lot of these uh liberals that is because we all know lgbtq ism whatever the hell it is revolves around liberalism they are liberalism okay so we, we don't need to debate that but I just want to make it clear how funny I find this, and this is why I decided to do a video today about it, because, you know, this is very ironic. <laughs> what, and we all know that in this culture, people would dig up your, your tweets or dig up pictures you had back in the day, as far as 40 to 50 years ago, or pictures you had, if you might have did blackface of your so-called white person, or you said some racist stuff and use it against you. We see it all the time. Now, when the tables are turned, who has the smoke for that person and that individual for the things they said? So I'm going to share my screen. <laughs> I want you guys to, to check this out. You understand how funny I find it. This individual on your screen right now, this individual on your screen right now has said some very, very foul stuff about particular nationalities and has said some stuff about fellow LGBTQ members. I, I make it make sense because I'm trying to I'm trying to understand this. You understand? Know
I'm Ashley Marie Preston, and I'm the organizer for the Stand Up and Solidarity Rally. In my entire career, everything that I've done has been about pushing boundaries. It has been about holding people accountable. I just cussed that. And, and the thing about it is, before, because I'm going to read, I'm going to see, y'all going to see these tweets, you understand? I might do some commentary and laugh a little bit, but I think Ashley Marie Preston was the same one that was on Dr. Phil's show, uh, the time that um, Angela Staten King uh, was having a, a conversation about her son, you know, wanting to be a woman and this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 and that she was against it. And that um, there's a big argument against him, too. And, you know, Dr. Phil is trying to basically boil down on Angela Stanton King's point. And she, the thing that I give credit to Angela Stanton is, is that she don't back down. Her being a concert, well, being a conservative so called Black woman, her being a Trump supporter and not believing in the liberalism of the LGBTQ community, believing that, that child, her child, her son is still her son. It's not her daughter now, you understand? So it's just funny to me, you understand? Nation bitch, clean the fuck up. We expect more. You mess up my order and then blame me? English is my first language, bitch. And so... And I think it's pretty funny that you got a lot of these people that go up on websites and want to talk all this shit about something that happened to them on a personal level and you know they'd be like oh energy and all this other stuff I, I tell people i don't i don't get involved in social media like that like telling my business or you know uh i get into a beef with someone or i you know something happens i'm gonna go back online and you know say yo you were you were this you were that and blah, blah. it's not it's not even in my range like you know everybody knows that i do uh, live streams and all this other stuff. I'm not spending my time making videos against other content creators and, you know, uh, uh, people I know in real life or, you know, saying, I, and I remember that because when you get into that rabbit hole of social media, um, and not to be long-winded, when you get into that rabbit hole of social media, you don't realize that you're not using it for the good. You're using it as a demise. Like, I, social media has made it too open for people to express themselves too openly okay like they've made it too possible for that where people don't even want to go see a therapist when time gets hard or they want to be able to find different ways of channel channeling out their anger they just got to go to 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 places like twitter instagram facebook or whatever to release it's not realistic my dude I know it's a lot to ask in California, but speak fucking English. Yeah, I said it. We also pour social equity into these spaces. We just broke my phone on this Asian bitch's head. Dave Chappelle doesn't get to suck all of the light out of that. And so the thing that I felt most um, troubled by is Latino and Asian businesses need to stop being rude and fucking disrespectful. They don't have the same equity. This Asian nigga in Subway got a fat ass. They don't have the same opportunity. He almost looks like a bitch from behind. Wait a minute. So I'm going to get to this because <laughs> so a random N-word to express a different nationality, which is not a so-called black man. Uh, it also gave back to this whole entire conversation about Dave Chappelle. This is why I believe these, these, I, and I'm really going to be honest, is, you know, I might get shadow banned or something might happen to my page of me making these videos, but I'm usually always the one pushing the boundaries. Since this is a good word that I, uh, this person, in, this individual likes to use when expressing their opinion about Dave Chappelle and this, that, and the third. Okay. Uh, my thing is, I don't understand how they say all these different things about, you know, oh, equity and they don't understand their struggle. Nigga, what's, what's struggle? You can be racist, you can be a homophobe, and you can be a heterophobe. And that's something I meant to say early on in this, this video, which I'll probably title, title it, heterophobia doesn't exist. And, and, and that's the nuisance of it all, because how does it, how is it that homophobia doesn't exist and we don't have to sit up there saying that uh, a homosexual can't say some rude stuff or discriminate against someone because of their sexual orientation. Why is it always just one-sided? You understand? And this is why that snowflake culture, PC culture, and all this nonsense comes in because they want it on one side. Then we're moving into this world, moving into this new order where they're starting to, um, you know, chastise people for not 
uh, uh, believing in what they believe. Kind of like how it felt as if like back in Europe with the whole entire church and state, you know, when a lot of when those Europeans started moving out and had no choice but to move to America or had the choice, maybe they didn't move to America because they was getting kicked out the church, being excommunicated. Now it's, it's everything in history seems to repeat, repeat the, the, the famous quote, history repeats itself. That's, that's what it seems like it happens today in 2021. History repeats itself. People are being excommunicated on their beliefs, not believing in this liberalism crap that uh, people like this pull on the whole entire nation. It makes no sense. Dave Chappelle did not say anything that was homophobic. He made an analyzation as a joke. Hashtag shaking my head. We will no longer stay silent. Asian hoes act like they won't get karate chopped in a motherfucking throw. Just to be clear, in real life, I'd smash your fucking head in, like a can of a and W root beer, Dick Ryder. Real violence, that is by the trans community, for the trans community. Bro, I would beat the dog shit out of you, Dick Ryder. To understand intersectionality and what it means. I have Asian... Intersectionality these nuts, and I, and I really want to make that very much clear. This whole entire intersectionality crap is more, more over a Satanism move about trying to group everybody together to be under one and create this fictional utopia where everybody has to get along. And, you know, if you don't get along with them, then we're going to jump you and we're going to uh, kick your ass and this, that, and third. And again, going back to my point earlier, excommunicating you. You are the, 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 the unfavorable one in society. We don't like you. You want to sit up there and, and pride around on being straight. We don't like you. You need to be... Uh, uh, affiliates of us or there's going to be some serious consequences okay this this intersectionality crap all a book out of the communism the communist manifest i'm not going to say this because you know whatever but it, all this is a book out of the liberalism playbook okay communism and all these different things man i refuse to believe anybody that tells me different you understand i don't want to hear this inter intersectionality bullshit for a second okay friends but they some motherfucking weirdos sometimes <laughs> my thing about it is so you still being racist we didn't have about like at least four or five tweets this person right here in the there says something disrespectful about asians and talk about and and this is the thing i love it when these these liberals would have sit up there and talk about oh you don't understand white supremacy and get mad at a so-called white person that sit up there and says things like i'm not racist i have black friends but at the same time this person in particular can sit up there and make all the racist tweets they want about Asians, but then sit up there and flip it and say, I have Asian friends. Oh, oh, it's different because I'm a minority. I'm a, I'm a so-called trans and I'm so-called black. <laughs> These people obeys me, man. Hashtag, I said it, but we all think it. Obviously, uh, Ashley Marie Preston is a, a great advocate. Furry slipper wearing ass fuck boy. Keep pretending for the internet. Dick Ryder. Ashley Marie Preston has proven herself as an activist, also a friend, and a loved one to many people in her embarkment on activism. So thank you so much. These motherfuckers, faggot cocksuckers, fat Mexican piss blonde Miss Piggy looking bitch. I love strippers, not in like a gay way. I love gay men, but this county clerk at Window G is a motherfucking faggot. Thank you so much for the invitation. That is the last time I helped that faggot fucker. So for those of us who are... And, and I, I'm, I'm sorry to stop the video again. I, I, I never really understood why, if you are a part of the LGBTQ community, in because it's just this random window of like, uh, the so-called trans that don't see themselves as G-A-Y, right? They see themselves as straight. But at the same time, even if you have functional male parts, where, where do you see that you still are technically a grayscale area between a man and a, fe and a woman? Well, a fictionalized woman, but a man who just transitioned. And, and, and you can ask a lot of these trans, they know that at the end of the day that they they are a man. They, they just say they were a man. That's not them anymore. They shed that manhood. Now they're a woman. But just getting to that point, I've never really understood why they still use words that's supposed to be offensive to fellow so-called so GA people. But at the same time, they're using those same words. 
Like, I, like the, 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 the contradiction is like very much clear. The hypocrisy, you understand? There's always something that amazed me. But, you know, getting back to the old Dave Chappelle thing, I mean, like, goddamn, it just proves if you want to go ahead and hold that to the fire, we can hold you to the fire the same way. But what will be the reaction? Somebody will protect or the whole entire community will protect this person and they will get off scot-free. Especially that little fat man that's over there standing to the next of this person, okay? That confused uh, individual over there that's wearing a, a, a brown dress or something like that, like he's in the YMCA. Uh, <laughs> the village people or some shit, you understand? Are standing in solidarity with the trans employees. Another, damn, Asian almost hit me while crossing. What the fuck is with y'all and damn vehicles? Hashtag racist ass. I don't do Mexican, Asian, or Samoan. You need to have difficult and complex conversations. You should be ashamed if you take abortion pills like Flintstone vitamins. Let's be in high vibrational community with one another. I get so upset when slut bitches constantly get pregnant and munch away on abortion pills like Cheeto. I'm actually... And that's the end of the video. I, I mean, like, I just, I just wanted to make the video because I find it funny as shit. But... And this is one thing, this last thing this person said that made me want to smile a little bit because he, he, you know how it is, man. Feels like Flintstone vitamins. Let's be in high vibrational community with one another. I get so upset. Complex conversations. You don't do Mexican, Asian, or Samoan. You need to have difficult and complex conversations. That was it. Bitch, what complex conversations? Like... This is all about trying to make Dave Chappelle agree with you. And the thing about it is, if his opinion is just to say, hey, look, listen, I don't believe that you're a woman. I believe that you're a man. And then it also uh, it comes into this fight about, oh, you need to raise your frequency, raise your chakras, and all this, this gaslighting techniques this, this dumbass will use to sit up there and go against Dave Chappelle. I mean, look, listen, uh, whether we're talking to LGBTQ community or regular people, look, I, I believe in boundaries. Respect my opinion like I'll respect yours, okay? So if you get dissed, right, if you sit up there and got the balls to sit up there and go against Netflix or go against someone like Dave Chappelle, who's a known comedian, that comedians are, are smart, okay? Like, like, I mean, obviously, but their whole entire tactics is jokes. They're going to talk about issues that's controversial. That's what comedians do, right? They're, they're, that's that they're highly intelligent in, in analyzing the world around them as a profession and then making it funny. So then, you know, all these butthurt employees want to walk out and sit up there and talk about, oh, that's not right. You have the choice to work, walk out on a job. You can't blame Netflix for sitting up there saying, oh, we're going to keep this special and we're not going to take it down. I, I mean, I don't understand. It's just like, Let's just say, for instance, I'm working at a company and they have someone in there that's a racist, right? And then one day they just blow up and they say something really racist and they say something about a so-called black man. Whatever stereotype you want to put out the book, they use maybe a so-called black woman that has a hatred towards so-called black men and they're sitting up there calling uh, uh, men like me a bullet bag or this, that, and the third. And you really think, and, and, I, and the organization agrees with it, right? They go ahead and they say, oh yeah, you know, it's whatever, we're not gonna fire them, or we're not gonna do anything in this, that, and third. And they continuously still do it after time after time. Uh, my thing is, I don't have to work there. I can leave. I can go ahead and search at another job that I'm going to be comfortable with. What the hell is the problem with these people? You understand? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> It's honestly just funny to me, but I mean, look, that's all I can really say. But at the end of the day, your choice is yours. You understand? I don't, I don't believe any snowflakes saying all this dumb, stupid stuff out here to prove a point. It makes no sense. Otherwise than that, peace.